What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Craig Crash and today we are getting into the third inning pack opening. Very excited because this time I use my big brain. I know I'm not, you know, commonly known uh, for being very high IQ, but today I decided, or at least in this pack opening, I decided, you know what? I'm normally opening the opening my packs after each conquest map is done, but San Diego Studios has been giving us two conquest maps per inning so i was like let's go ahead and wait to the end that's what i did this time and it did not disappoint 85 packs to open hella stubs hella rewards very excited to get into it so let's go ahead and do that make sure you tell somebody you love them i hope you enjoy it and let's get into this banger video all right as you know before the pack opening gets started i want to update you on how my team has changed uh since the last time we did a pack opening uh first things first i'm really close like it's, it's my own choice at this point that i don't have an all diamond lineup i think the only card that is not diamond is that anthony rizzo reliever um you know finally i, I can't remember if we had a diamond catcher uh during the the last uh pack opening but i don't think that we did because i just recently got the shiz monte grandal and I have been absolutely destroying baseballs with him at the moment. I mean, uh, looking at him, yeah, I've hit 417 uh, with, let's see, three homers, 17 RBIs in 28 games, 53 plate appearances. He's absolutely been a monster. Prince Fielder, you already knew I had him over at first. Now, middle infield has been a little interesting because for a while it was Marcus Simeon who I got through the uh, monthly awards. He was a lightning player uh, from May. He was at second for me because that's his primary position. But none of the shortstops I currently have I'm like excited about. So I was like, let's move him over to shortstop, which is his secondary position. And I was able to put Max Muncy. Look, I'm a Muncy guy, so I love having a player with the last name of Muncy in my lineup. Uh, so very excited about that. Muncy, Indiana represent 765. Yeah, I know that was super dorky, but I don't really care. So we have Max Muncy at second base, his 42 series card. I always hit well with him. Uh, haven't really hit for power yet with him, but he's been pretty good. Vlad Guerrero Jr., honestly, I don't see a card replacing him at third base. He's been absolutely awesome. Uh, left side of the infield and center uh, part of the infield, still pretty much the same. Kenny Lofton, Byron Buxton, both cards, absolutely amazing. You know, having that all that speed at the top of the lineup is really amazing. And then the new Team Affinity. Uh, Team Affinity Season 2 has come out uh, for this year's edition of MLB The Show. And through that, the AL East Team Affinity, I was able to get this Chris Davis card. Uh, 2013, if you don't uh, remember, that was like his coming out party where he had just, you know, I think yeah, it was a 50 home run season. He was absolutely insane. Actually, just, uh, you know, before I got to recording this pack opening, I actually hit two home runs in a game with him. He's insane. I mean, looking, oh, sorry, I hit the wrong thing. Looking at his stats, I mean, look, 123 power against righties. Dude, absolutely mashes. And then on the bench, got Jonathan Lucroy. He's kind of just kind of there. He's another diamond catcher that I have on my bench. Reese Hoskins is still mashing for me. That tops now card. Added Jake Cronenworth because of his versatility. Paul DeYoung was my starting shortstop, but he also has a lot of versatility, so he's on my bench as well. And then Patrick Wisdom, his top's now card for the Cubbies this year. He, he had an amazing stretch. Just like in classic Craig form, I can't hit with him. I, any Cubs players that aren't Rizzo or Bryant, like I struggle to hit with for some reason. Uh, oh, and that Lightning Castellanos that I had last year as well. Those were all good cards, but for whatever reason, can't really hit that well with Patrick Wisdom, but he is on my bench. Use him mainly as my backup outfielder because he does play right field. Uh, and then as far as the pitching staff goes, a little bit uh, of a makeover here. Corbin Burns is still our ace. Uh, just actually today acquired the Brandon Webb Cy Young uh, starter from the uh, NL West Team Affinity. Dude, I'm so excited to have that card because I remember when I was first like really getting into being a baseball fan, Brandon Webb was the guy. He was amazing. Obviously, Cy Young card. Um, so happy to have him. Robbie Ray. Always a sneaky guy in fantasy, and I love having a Robbie Ray card. So his top now card is in there. 13 Ks against the White Sox, uh, which got him that card. So he's there as well. John Lester, can't forget my guy uh, from the you know a 2016 Cubs card. That's also in the NL Central team affinity. And then Pedro Martinez. I just can't bring myself to take Pedro Martinez out of my starting rotation. Uh, and the bullpen, I think, is pretty different from the last time. Uh, we unlocked in the third inning program uh, this Blake Snell postseason card. He's our long guy. Uh, team affinity from the NL West as well. Heath Bell. I love me some Heath Bell. Um, he was actually, I think, 
you know, I either acquired him or traded him away in my first season ever playing fantasy baseball. So I, you know, Heath Bell rings close to me, always sprinting out of the bullpen. Love that guy. Had this card last year, that Sean Doolittle uh, lefty guy. He was out of the uh, NL West. Uh, AL East team affinity um, is Craig Kimbrell. Got, had to get me uh, some Craig Kimbrell. I mean, guys with the first name of Craig, they're always amazing. Ryan Tapera, Player of the Month card, Cubby. Always have to add him to the lineup. He's been pretty good for me. And then the back end is still the same with uh, Kerry Wood, uh, that Anthony Rizzo card, which is the only card in my uh, on my team that is still a silver card. But I, you know, he's very close to my heart. Still have not given up a run with him. So I love having that guy. And then of course uh, we have Houston Street closing things out um, at the back end of the bullpen. So I'm actually I, I really love my team the way it is now. And it's crazy to think that we're just in the third inning. So, you know, my complaint from the last video was that the rewards weren't the greatest from the first few Conquest maps. So this time I uh, used my big brain, uh, my noggin, if you will. Um, and I was like, you know what? Instead of doing my pack opening after the first Conquest map, let's wait and see if there is a second. And there was. Now, we did already beat uh, the first map. It was this third inning pizza map that you see just above my uh, face cam. Uh, that footage of me completing that map will run right now. What a slide, man. What a slide. Wow, very surprised they didn't come home there. Very surprised they did not come home there. Let's go. Let's go. I really wanted to go for the double play there, but... Let's go! Stressful, very stressful, but we got the job done. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Good job. And then the final map of the third inning, the final Conquest map, uh, for the third inning program is this Gecko map. As you can see, pretty much completed the entire map. There is only one stronghold to take, and that is the one of the Tampa Bay Rays. So without further ado, let's go ahead and complete the second Conquest map of the third inning program. Let's go! This body grand doll! What did I tell you? Absolutely crushed with the ass! Let's go! All right, good start to the inning. One down. Let's go. Let's go. Get out of here. The conquest map is ours. Two conquest maps down. The third inning program is completed. We sit right now at 121,000 stubs. That's because I just unlocked the third inning boss. Went ahead and sold uh, my pick there, which was Grady Sizemore. Uh, so we have 121,000 stubs. And look at all the freaking rewards. Like I, uh, you said a little bit earlier, you know, I had made the mistake of like uh, opening, doing an opening after each conquest map. Waiting till the end was definitely the play. Um, now, I did go out and buy some packs, and obviously a lot of these packs are from completing Team Affinity stuff, um, as well as other things uh, throughout the game as well, other offline modes like your daily moments, regular moments, that kind of thing. Um, but in total, for this third inning pack opening, we've got a lot to go through. 50 MLB The Show packs. We've got seven Ball and a Half packs. We've got 17 Team Affinity packs. Then we've got a set one headliner, a set uh, two set three headliners, one set uh, five headliner, three set six headliners, uh, one set nine, one set 12, one set 13, one set 14. Um, so a lot to go through here. 
Um, 85 packs in total. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All righty. Getting into it here. Just kind of headhunting those diamonds. We have a souped up Rich Hill already. You know, that Rich Hill card uh, from top the Tops Now moments is actually really good. I do like it a lot. Did I just replace him? No, I, I think I kept him in my uh, rotation. Uh, no, I didn't. I took him out. That's what happened. But, I mean, his curveball is so filthy, um, and he's fun to use. Robbie Grossman, who also has a Tops Now card. That one's pretty cool. I like how I like, didn't even look and see. Uh, Devin Williams of the Brewers, one of the big pieces of that bullpen. So a thousand stubs already in. Yeah, hoping hoping to get something cool out of all 50 of these packs. Definitely the best pack opening of the year so far. Look at that KB who, let's just say this. Are you looking at me, San Diego Studios? Give Chris Bryant a Player of the Month card. Hey, Zeus, man. He, I mean, come on. He has been incredible all season. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sell because we already have um, one of his cards already, which is a part of a collection. Um, but, yeah, he needs he needs a souped-up card now. Um, ten packs down. A couple thousand stubs. Not too bad out of, the, uh, out of these packs so far. I'm getting a lot of gold unlockables. I don't, I guess, I don't know if there's a whole lot that's you know, below gold. Rhino Tapia of the Rockies. Pablo Lopez of the Marlins. If I can get like one diamond out of these, I will be very happy. And hey, I mean, that's half the fun. Just kind of ripping these packs opening. Uh, open, you know, so to speak. Ryan Tapera, who we already have his Player of the Month card. So happy uh, that he got a Player of the Month card. Tucker Barnhart, who is one of my favorites as far as, you know, non-Cubs go. Corey Knable, that's fun to say. Always a fun name to say, Corey Knable. Josh Naylor, hardly knower. We get a gold, Trent Grisham. I'm, I'm glad that Trent Grisham has carved himself out a nice little like start to his career at least. Um, you know, obviously known up to this point as the guy who replaced Jelic in the uh, NL wild card game in 2019. Uh, he botched the ball in right field and allowed uh, three runs to score for the Nationals, which sparked that whole World Series run, which is kind of crazy. 30 packs down, uh, some stubs. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, definitely have been sitting on a lot of stubs this year, so uh, very, very okay with that. We get Sean Doolittle, which you know we mentioned how we have a card of his already, which is nice. 17 packs to go. Dylan Cease, who deserves a Tops Now left fielder card. If we're if we're doing this thing where we're you know like we did with Rizzo, where we're making a pitcher card, um, you know because he struck out Freddie Freeman. Dylan Cease this season got three hits in a game as a pitcher, which if you don't know, that's pretty crazy. So he deserves to be have like a left fielder card because I would 100% find a way to uh, to use that in some capacity. All right, so this is our 40th the show pack. Getting down to the end of these bad boys. We get another gold, Seth Lugo. So we got, we're, what, we started out 121, so we've got 4,000 stubs out of this so far. Not great, not terrible, but not great. And that's okay. I'll say the standard thing that we say in every pack opening, which, hey, the more players you get, the more you can use in, like, exchanges, which ultimately leads to stubs, which, crazily enough, another shot do a little uh, crazily enough, I've been using a lot of exchanges for like the team affinity programs, which is nice. So not a whole lot of like taking my whole team and you know taking my whole you know s set of silvers and stuff and turning them into golds. But now it's just been like turning them into actual diamond players, which is nice. Raphael Devers. So 5,000 stubs so far out of these uh, the show packs. 50 of the show packs down. 5,000 stubs. So hey, I mean not too not too bad. Now let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get to the team affinity packs because I feel like those are the ones that are the most exciting. 
I feel like those have been like the biggest wild card this year because uh, last year, two years ago, I think it was the team affinity packs were like just basically a, a repackaged standard pack, which I think these are technically too, but I feel like I've gotten a lot better pack luck out of the team affinity cards. Like before they were just kind of like whatever, but I, I'm actually excited to open these because they have yielded some results, both, you know, results that I've seen other people uh, get and you know results that I've had as well because I think that Giancarlo that we pulled um, was a uh, out of team affinity pack I can't really remember but I think that's what happened I think I skipped a gold earlier but that's fine Anthony Rizzo you know even if he got a souped up card this year I would still use his reliever card because that is insanely amazing that he's got one of those alright so not a whole lot there Tommy Pham. Let's see here. And now to the end of these team affinity packs. It's okay. It's because it's because I hyped them up. And so now they're like, eh, whatever. You're not gonna get anything out of this. I always try that reverse psychology too. Alrighty, so. Not all, nothing really out of those team affinity packs. Some stubs, I guess. Um, so now into the ball and as a habit, which, as you guys know, guaranteed stubs because it's a gold player or better. So that's always fun. Seven of those. So let's see what we got. Oh, that was just a comment. I, I don't know what I was expecting when I saw just the <laughs> just the silver outline. All right. So we get John Means, who unfortunately is on the IL right now. But we're at 130,000 stubs, which is not bad. Oh, we got our first diamond, baby. Let's go. Let's see what we got. We got Kyle Tucker, so we're going to go ahead and quick sell him. Let's see what we got, baby. Let's go. I think purple is low diamond. I can't remember. Byron Buxton. Let's go. Okay. Got his uh, Lightning Player of the Month card so far this year, so that's awesome. So it actually makes it a pretty easy decision to go ahead and hit that good old sell now button. Of course, no matching order found because, of course, sell him. Oh, my God, dude. Uh, stop making me... Give an effort. Whatever. Fine. Fine. You got me. You got me, MLB The Show. You win. I know I have, like, other diamonds that I need to sell, too. There. Hey, jeez. <laughs> we're, now, we're now at 138. thousand stubs which is awesome i think seventeen thousand so far in the pack opening nelson cruz gonna get to 140,000, which is nice lucas giolito 140,000. michael brantley uh when i click sell i don't know if he'll sell right away or whatever all right, final ball in a zap pack. We get Jesus Aguilar. We sell him. So, hey, one diamond pulled so far, um, and we've got 142,000 stubs. So, stubs on stubs on stubs on stubs on stubs. So, let's go ahead. We've got a bunch of headliners to open, so let's go ahead and look at those. Could have got Josh Donaldson out of this pack, which, you know, honestly, I know I passed on Troy Glouse, uh, but honestly, I would not be opposed to this Josh Donaldson card. Is he... I wonder if he plays any positions besides third. Uh, but it doesn't matter. We get Joey Wendell. <laughs> uh, let's see. He's had two headliner, Tim Salmon. The, my favorite of the Tim Salmon is the fact that we got another diamond. My favorite of the Tim Salmon is I saw somebody open it, and uh, it was like wrong fish because, of course, you want Mike Trout. So let's see. Is it the right fish? Let's go. No, it's not because it's a low diamond, but that's fine. Hey, we got you, Darvish. 
I'm okay with that. Let's see, he goes for 5,000, so we're going to quick sell him for 5,000 subs. So, hey, let's go. Getting closer and closer to that uh, 150,000 mark. Oh, yeah, we get another another crack at the right fish. I don't know why that noise is still playing, which is it signifies a diamond. Maybe that means we're going to get another one. Pudge in set five. Why does it keep making that noise? But we get three sets, three headliner potentially here. And see if they gave, I know Wayno didn't have a lot of stamina because he was just a closer, but if they gave him some like actual like length, I would consider putting him in my long relief spot. I know that's not a huge spot in your bullpen, but I don't know why I looked at that again. Like I didn't already know who it was. <laughs> All right, final set. What was this set? Whatever. I don't even know. I didn't read it. Or I did read it, but it was, you know, one of the sets. Let's see, set nine, Ed Matthews. I did off stream pull on Ed Matthews, but I did not, uh, in this pack opening video, open one or get one. So that is sad. Ooh, Diamond. Ooh, okay. Well, let's see what our Cleveland Road unis. Okay. I was like really hoping that would mean Diamond Unlockable Pedro Martinez. Now, this card would actually, I think, go into my lineup because. Pedro Martinez obviously um, would replace the Pedro Martinez I currently have. Um, so let's see if we get him. No, just another diamond unlockable. They really want me to have this Cleveland Indians, uh, <laughs> this Cleveland Indians jersey. Okay, 84 packs down. Final pack coming up. Let's see what we get. Oh, we got a diamond on the last one. Thank you, San Diego Studios. Get Brewers. I don't think I looked to see who I got here or who uh, like who I could have gotten in this. All right, let's see what we got. Final pack, final diamond pull of the pack opening. Let's see what we get. Another lower diamond. Get Nick Castellanos. Okay. Okay. I'm vibing with it. I'm vibing with it. So we got you Darvish, Nick Castellanos, uh, and Byron Buxton. Hey, two former Cubs. I will definitely take that. We're going to go ahead and quick sell that bad boy. So, hey, I mean, 30,000 stubs in this pack opening is not bad at all. So that wraps up this pack opening for the third inning program. Definitely the best as far as, like, quantity of rewards that we've had so far. We get 30,000 stubs. I think probably the most stubs we've gotten uh, from just, you know, regular packs. I mean, that's bound to happen when you have so many. Uh, and then also three diamond pulls. So I'm pretty happy with it. Very excited. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave it a like, subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out.